This video is advertiser friendly and complies with YouTube's advertiser friendly content guidelines. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brightop on the Unboxing Thor YouTube channel. I'm going to show you guys again how to walk on the ice. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Now, I've had this product for a while now. I've done a video on it before, maybe more than one video. And this just makes the most sense, okay? You can go out and you can pay lots of money for shoes you can only wear during the winter because they got metal cleats on the bottom. Or you can get these things that you just strap on your shoes, okay? And these make a lot more sense as long as your shoes are warm enough in the winter. You obviously aren't going to strap these on high heel shoes, I hope, because that would be really bad. Don't don't walk on the ice in high heel shoes. It's just I think that's a bad idea. So what you do is you get one of these that's in your shoe size, and this one's the extra large, so it fits my shoes pretty well. And you just slip it over your shoes just like that. Now, of course, you want to make sure you're not going to be walking on any linoleum or any uh, flat stuff in your house, you can uh, carefully walk across carpet with this or rugs without doing too much damage as long as you don't get these teeth caught in the, the rug or the fibers, okay? Just don't do that or you, then you trip and fall, okay? These teeth, and I got, what, six of them here, go under the front of the foot. And that's the most important part if that's where you're putting your weight. And then there's these four back here that kind of help out that are near the back of the foot, okay? And on this particular pair, yeah, they probably could have uh, moved these back a little further. But I think this is supposed to be a universal fit, and my feet are pretty big. So let's go ahead and put the other ones on. Okay, so here's some ice on the steps. See, I don't even have to hold on to the, the handrail. Of course, you should. Always use the handrail. Look at that. Going down, going back up. No problems with that ice whatsoever. And I can see that these teeth are making little holes in the ice. Here's the ice where I was walking, and you can see uh, little holes where these uh, make in the ice there. I don't know if you can see it they make holes in the ice. Here's some more ice um, where people drove through and stomped the snow down and it got really icy there. slide my foot on it and like my other products the links to these are in the description of the video so check out the links down there and buy yourself a pair of these better yet get them for your wife and your kids so they don't fall down too Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video and go to ChristianCourts.com. Click the donate button because we need your help. Get the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. It's available anywhere. There's T-Mobile or AT&T signal within five miles of a cell tower or 20 miles with a repeater. Okay, it's really fast, especially in rural areas or areas where there's no other people around. It's just super, super fast. Okay. The other thing that you need to do is check out Straight Talk. I've got a coupon for Straight Talk, and if you use that coupon, you're going to get a month free worth of bonus points when you sign up, as long as you enroll for the bonus point program that they've got, the rewards. And every time that you make a purchase, you're going to get more points as well. And then I'm going to get points. So if 10 of you sign up for Straight Talk, I should get two years of free service worth of points and you guys should get two months of free service each. It works on Sprint, it works on Verizon, 
and it works on T-Mobile and AT&T. Okay, it works on all four networks. You can bring your own phone, you can bring your existing phone, especially if they're unlocked, uh, over to Straight Talk, and you can switch between networks. All you gotta do is have either a GSM phone, a Sprint phone, or a Verizon phone, and you can switch between the networks. AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM, so you can switch between them. I don't know if uh, Sprint is, but it's a really good deal. I pay $38 a month for unlimited texting and calling anywhere in the United States. And I also get two gigabytes of data plus unlimited slower data after that, which I've never used all the data as far as I know. Uh, you can get bigger, better plans. You can get a fully unlimited plans uh, from Straight Talk, but I only pay $38 a month. I use my Blazing Hog for all the other internet, okay? And you guys should do the same. You can also check out how to build a moped.com and how to win in court. Those are great resources as well. As well, please go to donate and help me out. I need a new computer, and there's other things I need so I can keep bringing you guys videos. So thanks again, and God bless you. Bye. They're they're always playing tricks. Okay, these types of people when you get in the courts, they're always playing tricks. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this page here. Okay, this is on how to win in court jurisdictionary. Now, if you the first thing I want to show you before I show you the page and what it is is this code right here at the bottom of the page it says BJ0089 if you're not seeing that code okay then you have not clicked on the correct link in the description of this video or in the card to get to the page so what this is this is a law course that's online they're gonna give you a 10 minute quiz here for free to see if you're ready for court you think you're the know-it-all you think you know okay you click on this 10 minute quiz you take the questions and if you don't know the answers you're not ready for court it doesn't matter if you're an expert in common law. It doesn't matter if you um, are an expert in all kinds of different types of law, God's law, uh, maybe city law, whatever. If you have don't know this stuff on this site, um, you're, you're going to be in trouble, okay? All right, so hopefully you guys saw the video of me cruising around on the bike. I'm pretty sure I did that. Boy, that reflector is reflective in the camera, isn't it? Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys my lighting. I got my lighting all done. So there's the uh, just the standard running lights and the uh, license plate right there. Got the license plate light going. You can see it there. Okay, so that's sweet. And you can find that on howtobuildamoped.com, that part there. I got it for free. Somebody sent me that. And I've been waiting a long time to install it. It's probably a year since somebody sent me that to review. And... Uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to build a motorbike for this or get an electric bike or something, you know. Anyway, so here's how this is wired up. So I went under here. I stayed the same colors. And then I went to, see, I went to regular wires there. And uh, the 16 gauge, because these guys claim that this draws like 40 watts of power, but it doesn't even register on uh, my power supply. So I don't think it, I don't think it really draws anything. But anyway. So wires go along here underneath the gas tank. Try to keep them nice and clean and out of sight there with the black wrapping around like that. And of course you can see down here the extra hardware. Now I was able to use the same mount for the uh, the uh, CDI there for the uh, regulator. Um, now a regulator just a, a rectifier goes from uh, DC to AC. I'm sorry, AC to DC, alternating current to direct current, and uh, Basically, I've you can you can get those even smaller, but they've got to have a heat sink on them, and so that's pretty much the way to go. Verybikebrightlights.com has a kit you put on. You don't have to wire any of this stuff up. It just has plugs, and you plug it all in, and it's done. But there we go. And then, of course, I got my motorcycle uh, headlight switch here. This is for four-way. I, I changed this to be four-way flashers because I needed a switch for that. This switch sucks. This is the one that came with the headlights here. And uh, this switch sucks because when I turn them off, uh, sometimes the red laser stays on. It didn't this time, but there it flashes. There you go, the little beam, so I don't use all my power. There's the red laser. It's supposed to be pointed upside down. The red laser is supposed to be on the ground. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to figure out a way to turn this upside down. And if I did, I think it would just hit my basket. Here's left signal light, right signal light. Somebody sent me these signal lights, too. Uh, what I'd like to do, honestly, is have just a little light, yellow light here hooked into this, just so it's easy to see from the side. But, you know, this is the side profile of the bike, even, you know, you can see I'm kind of behind it. And you can still see the signal light from this side, so 
pretty good. Now, as far as the other side, though, um, we'll do the same thing. Go back here. Now it's kind of invisible. See? So even if I put them, I mean, I guess I could put them up higher, but I don't know. Anyway, that's that. And then, of course, my four ways. And we'll go back and look at the back ones. Now, brake lights are not on. The brake lights are on. It would be much brighter. Of course, I don't have the headlight on, so my running lights aren't on because I connected all that together.